Many of you have asked, what happened to Sky? How did he get so bad? Where was he found? How did you rescue him? What's his story? Um, about a week ago now, we received an email from a family in Germany. They told us that they had uh, rescued a dog in Romania. The dog was found in a Romanian village uh, about four months ago and uh, rescued by a local Romanian group who got him off the streets, took some pictures and found a family for him in Germany. Interestingly enough, what happened is that those people send pictures of the sky but only of his good side. They didn't show the other side of his face, actually this one. So these are the pictures that they sent to the family and the family thought, oh poor baby, he needs some help, let's adopt him. So when the dog arrived to Germany, <laughs> they found out that pff, his condition had nothing to do with the dog that they had seen on pictures. Um, they were desperate. They took him to, to several vets. The vets said, there's nothing we can do. This is too much. Best thing is to euthanize him. But that family didn't want to kill Sky. They thought there has to be a way. So they persevered. They looked for several vets. They all say the same. Still, they continued pushing. They fed him through through a hole on the on the on the jaw, and the sky responded. I mean, his condition got better, and you know he got along with the other dogs in the house. They have another one or two dogs, but the family continued looking for help, but they couldn't find it. All over Europe, nobody wanted to help this dog until last week when they wrote to us and I said what's the problem so they, they show me the pictures and they say look his, his jaw is locked he cannot open it mm, two centimeters maybe at most I asked them to 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 send me some x-rays and they did but uh, we couldn't really see what the problem was I mean to see what the problem was but we didn't know what the state of the joint was so we told them look okay fine we'll, we'll take care of this uh, bring him over and we'll take over from from now so Sky has a beautiful family that are waiting for him over there anxiously but they know that right now they have to be patient because we are his uh, only hope really there's no other vet or no other hospital that has said we can do this and and even even us we have to be really creative because you know we're gonna have to design a prosthesis for the jaw and this is not something that is usually done for dogs it's done for humans um, for you know people that have had several serious accidents and the, 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 the jaw has the, the joint has been destroyed but uh, not never for dogs or not as far as we know so so we're building we're designing and we're building special prosthesis for this in the meantime uh, Sky is uh, very well is very happy with us at the hospital the girls love him he's very nice he's shy but you know after a while he you know he gets to like you and he's a really loving dog is really loving dog um, so in today's video I wanted to because many people ask us so how how does he eat how does he eat if his jaw is locked I want to see how he eats so here's a quick update with uh, with part of his story until now and then we're showing you how Sky eats it's not easy for him is quite I mean, I'm not gonna say painful. But maybe there is a certain component of pain, but uh, but it's it's hard. It's hard. A dog of his size cannot eat like this. It's really tricky. 
So, yeah, I'm also going to update on Coco's condition. Remember Coco? Rescued uh, 10 days ago, I think it was. Uh, his urinary system was all broken because of trauma. We had to operate him. We had to do some incredible surgery there. And then, uh, just as I was going to update again on him, uh, Sky's case happened, and we've been focusing on him since. So I want to update on Coco as well. And uh, he's doing great. He's a little cat. He's such a fighter. He's such a fighter. Incredible. I know he's going to make someone very happy. Very, very happy. And, well, we have the hospital full of cases. There will be more updates next week. Uh, we will be continuing updating on, on Sky and on on the process of surgery and preparations and everything. I want to thank uh, those of you that are really loyal. And I mean, it's uh, it's funny when I read the comments that you guys leave and, and you know, I'm so happy because we have connected. And that's, uh, that's to uh, someone, to a rescuer. It's very important to know that there are people that appreciate his work and that are there for him and for his animals. Uh, we're trying to do something really special at uh, Let's Adopt. We're focusing on the animals that no one else wanted to help or could help. Um, and we couldn't do it without this incredible community. Uh, many of you leave comments or send me an email. How can I help? Well, three things that people can do. One is to write and, and ask about a possible adoption. That's, that's great. If we can organize it, we will bring the animal to you. It depends where you are, but you know, if you are the perfect family for the animal, he will get there. And then of course, uh, everything you see here, all these surgeries, all this team at the hospital and everything, we have to pay for it. The hospital is not ours, we're the client. So we have to pay a tremendous amount of money every month. So please, if you can, that will really help. You can either donate through PayPal, there is a link down below, or you can join Patreon. Patreon is uh, very useful because, um, I mean, as YouTube stopped monetizing our videos and our income went down by know, 90% or 80%, I don't know, something. Um, Patreon allows us to have a stable income. So if you can join us on Patreon, any amount will do. Just think of a Starbucks a month, you know, a coffee latte. Well, every month I'm going to give Victor and his animals a coffee latte and that will really help. So if you wish, if you can join us on Patreon. Now <laughs> enjoy the video. Sky and Coco.
Once again, thanks a lot for your help, thanks for your attention, thank you for being here. Please, if you can, join us on Patreon. This is what really helps us continue in rescuing. Without you, we cannot do it. Please, join us on Patreon. Thank you. <laughs>